Right now, GCC countries use more than 80% of their water in agriculture, and yet they produce less than 20% of their food. The reason of this mismatch is that farmers don't really know how much water they should apply, and because managing large agricultural fields is not an easy task. But we are here to change that with our solution, satellite-based field analytics. We take satellite images together with weather information. We process them together, and we provide farmers with the information they need to better manage the field. With our solution, farmers can save up to 50% on their water consumption, increase the yield by 100%, and save on fertilizer use by 30%. The way it works is simple. We divide each of their fields into zones with easy to follow advice on how to correct and improve the fields, and farmers can access the information from any internet connected devices. Out of the total market in the MENA region, we started in, in Saudi Arabia, targeting medium and large scale farms. But we want to expand also to other markets, such as Turkey, which has five times bigger market than Saudi Arabia. Our competitors are mainly based in Canada and US, using similar techniques with good, with good results. However, our team has a lot of experience in precision agriculture, and we've adapted our model to work at best in this environment for the past five years. So it will take some more time and data for the competition to reach the same accuracy. Our business model, a simple subscription service that the customer can customize based on their needs. We charge on average $3 per hectare per month based on the subscription. We currently have nine clients interested all over Saudi Arabia, and this is too much for us to handle right now. So we are starting with two of them. We are making a strategic partnership with third-party companies that can promote our product. We have raised $20,000 in the last six months. We will finish our pilot round in December this year, and then January 2020, we will onboard new clients and then expand to the whole MENA region within the next two years. We opened the first investment round in February 2020, and then we want to raise $700,000 that can help us to secure and serve more customers. So why should you trust us? Well, the reason it's simple, because we have the technical background, and uh, we have been doing research on this for the past five years. We have been in the field with farmers, so we know what they need. So we realized that this is a huge business potential. So we created our startup six months ago. Please join our big crop, and together we can secure the food for next generation. Thank you very much. Perfect. Judges, what questions? No, just wondering, uh, you were talking about the, uh, the data that's gathered and how you, you know, people can read that off. Is it actual actionable insight in there that you, you say you can, you can do these things based on this data, so you actually give them info they can you know, do something about, or are you, are you just kind of serving the raw data to them? Uh, and no, actually. And how accurate is that in actionable insight? Like how useful is it? Well, actually, it's uh, quite useful. This information is quite powerful because we don't, we don't just give data to them. So we actually give also um, advice on where to do this kind of um, uh, uh, measure, um, adapted measurement and uh, when they need to do this. So it's a kind of optimization and uh, where they can save on resources, input, such as water and fertilizer, and then uh, optimize the, the actual yield at the, end of the, at the end of the season. So, yes. So, in order to scale this into different markets, do you need a big network of satellites, or how does it work? Well, we have multiple sources of satellite imagery. Some are free. Uh, the one that we uh, prefer to use, it's a new series of satellites that we do have to pay, but it doesn't have any geographic restrictions. So we just need to define the area, uh, pay for it uh, on a yearly basis, and then uh, we are basically uh, ready to enter the market. Great, cool. Um, first question is, uh, how many hectares uh, is it being used on right now? Um, well, um, right now, um, during our research, we've done this in a field uh, which has 50 fields of 50 hectares each. Um, and just out of curiosity, there's an Estonian, very similar product called Iagermano. Have you, do you, do you know about that? Um, if not, then maybe uh, just check it out because it seems uh, a little bit similar. So maybe, maybe you have something different, but, uh, but yeah, check it out. Sure. Thank you. Thanks. Other questions? Yeah. So what was the result? You know, you, you said you, you're already testing it with the field, right? Yeah. 50, 50 hectares. So. Did you create a case, you know, right now maybe you are doing it manually, not the software, not the big data. So what was the result of your analysis? Well, actually, our is a software base. 
solution. Yeah. What we create actually are uh, uh, maps of health and condition yes. where the actual farmer can uh, look. Uh, so what was the result of it? So Because well, uh, you're already testing it, right? Yes. Uh, for instance, for water use, we have uh, found that uh, comparing uh, the irrigation rates from the farms to what the plants really need, there's a difference uh, of uh, around 70% uh, more irrigation than it should, up to uh, 2.4 uh, times more than it should, uh, which is huge. And in terms of uh, field uh, differences, uh, some parts are uh, half as developed as the others. Uh, this comes as an indication of uh, soil deficiencies and also uh, some mismanagement, could be pest or uh, different uh, wind conditions within the field. So you can easily quantify the bit benefit of your yes. software. Yes. About 15 seconds, if it's real quick. Is quiet. it the data that you gather that makes you special and you can use machine learning to actually give advice? Or is the data not as important for the analysis you deliver today? You have time for yes or no. no. What's important is uh, sorry, what we've developed. Uh, yes or no. It's yes or no? Than yes. Okay, okay. excellent. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Thanks. I'll take that. Congratulations. Nice job.